वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन आई बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट विटामिन वी ऑल नो वॉट आर विटामिन वॉट आर विटामिन इट इज कम फ्रॉम द वर्ड वाइटल अमाइन नाउ द इनिशियल विटामिन दैट वेर डिस्कवर्ड वेर अमाइंस हेंस दिस इट वाइटल वाइटल टू द ग्रोथ वाइटल टू द हेल्थ वाइटल टू द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द बॉडी एंड हेंस द वर्ड वाइटल फ्रॉम दैट वी गॉट द वर्ड वाइटमिन बट इट ई वॉज लेटर ड्रॉप्ड ऑफ एंड नाउ वी कॉल इट एज विटामिन विटामिन आर एसेंशियल इवन टूडे वॉट वॉज फाउंड एट दैट टाइम इज ट्रू इवन टूडे एंड वी रिक्वायर विटामिन विदिन फॉर अवर विदिन अवर डायट फॉर द नॉर्मल ग्रोथ health and maintenance of the body so let us talk what are vitamins these are organic molecules what is the difference with minerals minerals are inorganic molecules whereas vitamins are organic minute i say organic thing should come to your mind is they are all carbon containing compounds so organic molecules which are three characteristic features they are organic they are essential in the diet and the requirement is in very small quantities usually in very small quantities they are necessary for growth development and maintenance of health vitamins are generally classified into fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins so what is the difference between these two water soluble and fat soluble what is there any difference in their metabolism is there any change in their metabolism we all know that water soluble are soluble in water and fat soluble are soluble in fat but not in water so what is soluble uh, vitamins what is the what is the characteristic feature of all the fat soluble vitamins is that they all require bile salts for their absorption from the intestine that is the important thing so their absorption is always along with bile salts so what is required liver is required liver is and gall bladder and their proper function is functioning is required for the absorption of these fat soluble vitamins whereas for water soluble vitamins most of the water solubles except vitamin b12 the absorption is quite simple fat soluble vitamins have to go in a aqueous environment so naturally they require a carrier they are uh, their carrier proteins are highly specific for example for vitamin a we have retinol binding protein for each of these we have a specific globulin protein which is responsible for transport of transport of these different fat soluble vitamins usually water soluble vitamins do not require any carrier protein for all this there is an exception that is vitamin b12 fat soluble vitamins are stored in the liver you and they are not excreted out usually they keep on getting stored in the liver whereas water soluble vitamins since they are water soluble they will be whatever excess is there it will be excreted out of the body rather than getting stored please remember there is an exception to everything fat soluble since they are stored and the whatever excess is taken is not thrown out of the body what it can cause to it can lead to hypervitaminosis and thereby the toxicity is of because of increased vitamins is usually seen only due to the fat soluble vitamins water soluble usually again no hypervitaminosis the deficiency manifestations are usually late in case of fat soluble vitamins suppose somebody is having enough stores and now the uh, now the intake of fat soluble vitamins is decreased it will take some time all the stores will be first initially utilized and only then that vitamin deficiency manifestations will be will appear so the deficiency manifestations are late in case of fat soluble whereas in water soluble minute the diet does not contain that particular vitamin the deficiency manifestations will start now which are the fat soluble vitamins a d e k and the water soluble include vitamin c and the vitamin b complex out of all this vitamin b12 usually does not follow any of these characteristics of water soluble its absorption is also highly specific it requires transport proteins for each of these i'll be talking about it uh, individually but this is the overall features of most of the water soluble vitamins please look at the slide the difference between water soluble and fat soluble so now in this section let me start with the fat 
fat soluble vitamin the first vitamin that i would like to tell is vitamin a now any of these vitamins i'll be talking about their sources their chemistry their required rda absorption transport storage biochemical functions deficiency what are the causes what will be the manifestations and hypervitaminosis wherever known so let us look at vitamin a what is its chemistry it is fat soluble basically it contains a what is called as beta ionon ring with a poly and uh, isoprenoid side chain beta ionon ring i won't draw it correctly but this is how somewhat the structure of uh, vitamin a looks like now what is important is the isoprenoid side chain that is what is making it making it a what a fat soluble vitamin now there is, is it a single vitamin actually no they belong to a group of compounds together they are called as retinoids all the vitamins together are called as retinoids they are a group of compounds nearly similar maybe one double bond here one double bond there some cis isomers some trans isomers all these together form the come under the category retinoids vitamin a is also known as retinoic retinoids come under the category retinoids now the retinoids include not only the natural but also the synthetic forms of vitamin a the injectable forms of vitamin a also belong to the category of retinoids so as i've shown here its characteristic feature is beta ionon ring with uh, which is a cyclohexenyl ring and a isoprenoid side chain so it is a polyisoprenoid compound this is just for the sake of information nobody need to know about the chemistry of vitamin a but in case it is asked in mcq that is why i have put it out here so let us know more about what is important in this chemistry now there are three major forms of uh, vitamin a and they are called as retinol which is retinol all means it contains a alcohol group and it has a retinol which is a aldehyde group and a retinoic acid look at it i have not written right it is retinol retinol and retinoic acid what is the difference retinol will contain the ch2oh group it will contain a alcohol group ch2oh group oh group and retinol will contain aldehyde group cho group and retinoic acid will contain cooh group okay this is the difference between retinol retinol and retinoic acid this chemistry is somewhat important why the metabolism is going to change the which is a each of these have different functions within the body all three of them are required all three of them have different functions in the body some of them are interconverted also let me just tell you what they are so as i was saying retinol retinol and retinoic acid retinoic acid the forms are interconvertible so if you look at retinol retinol can be converted to retinol so this can be converted to this retinol can be converted to retinol retinoic ch2 to ch2h ch2oh to cho both this interconversion is possible so retinol to retinol all to all it is a type of oxid oxidation retinol is further oxidized to retinoic acid but all is also converted to retinoic acid this is also possible but the reverse reaction retinoic acid to retinol the reverse reaction is not possible retinoic acid once it is formed it cannot be converted back to retinol so let us look at it retinol can be converted to retinol but retinoic acid cannot be converted back this is a reduction this reduction in the reverse direction from retinoic acid does not take place now why am i emphasizing this each of these compounds whether it is all or all or oic acid all these have got specific functions within the body the function of vitamin a within the body depends on which form is there so we usually say that retinol is involved in vision one important thing is vitamin a is required for vision and retinol is involved in vision that is the point that you have to always remember retinol is involved in vision 
So let uh, is there are these the only forms of vitamin A? No, there is also a pro vitamin known as beta carotene. Beta carotene is the pro vitamin form. So what is beta carotene? It is actually present in plant sources. Carotene, the word came from carrot. So beta carotene is present in most of the yellow colored, orange colored uh, plants and vegetables. What is important is this is actually containing uh, two polyisoprenoid chains and two beta ionoid rings. So theoretically speaking, this one beta carotene can produce two vitamin A. But usually that does not happen. One uh, beta carotene can produce uh, one molecule of a retinoid or a, uh, one of the retin uh, vitamin A compounds, retinol or retinol. Dep uh, usually it produces retinol which is then converted to retinol. So this is beta carotene with two beta ionoid rings, hence the name beta. Theoretically, it can form two molecules of retinol, but uh, it is lately, usually it is forms only one molecule. The activity is slow, slow and it forms one molecule. Now, just as the word you have got retinoids for compounds which are containing vitamin A like activity, we have another term known as keratino keratinoids. Keratinoids, what is the name? All beta carotene and carotene like compounds come under the class carotenoids, compounds with beta carotene like activity. Now you have, we have a side chain here in the vitamin, so naturally isomers are possible. The side chain has got double bonds and hence cis isomer or trans isomers are possible. Now vitamin A1 is all trans retinol. Vitamin A1 is all trans retinol and this is most common. Vitamin A2 has got an extra double bond in this ring A2 but it is not biologically important. Let us stick with vitamin A1 only and that is all trans retinol. Retinol, all trans retinol is having all the double bonds are in the trans configuration and that is what we are important that is vitamin A1. Now, 11 cis retinol, that is, if it is a retinol with a double bond in the cis configuration in the 11th position, we call it 11 cis retinol, is a, the biologically important compound. So, retinol, as I said, was involved in vision. Which retinol? Cis retinol. Which position? 11th position. So, 11 cis retinol is the one which is involved in vision. What is the vitamin A1? Vitamin A1 is trans retinol, all trans retinol. And what is important is 11 cis retinol for the vision. So, all trans retinol, there must be some way to be converted to 11 cis retinol. So, let us look at it what is happening. So, what are the sources, dietary sources of vitamin A? Now, pre-formed, already vitamin A is formed, is usually seen in animal sources. All the animal sources have pre-formed vitamin A. Could be all, could be all or retinoic acid. So, all this liver, fish oils, fortified milk, egg yolk, kidney, cod liver oil, all these contain pre-formed vitamin Whereas, pro-vitamin A or carotenoids are present only in plant sources, only and only in plant sources. Pro-vitamin A carotenoids are present only in plant sources like dark green, leafy green vegetables, yellow or orange vegetables, fruits, carrots, spinach, amaranth, papaya, mango, etc. All these contain pro-vitamin A carotenoids. So, in plant sources, we have pro-vitamin, but pre-formed vitamin A is present in animal sources. 